All right, everybody. <clears throat> Dream Team playthrough time again. We're back over to the red team, and we are playing Less Than Bread. Great name. Uh, his Minahagen Park? Minahagen? I don't know. Um, so, let's get this going. Again, don't, haven't played too many of, I'm just going to call them bread. <clears throat> um, many of his courses, so. Excited to, uh, to give this one a go. It looked really good from when he was building it, so. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. Look at this. Again, another very, lots of sand dune style. Yeah, this is nice. Crazy. Look at this little, like, walking path here to kind of get around this marshy area. That's neat. All right, so these big sand, I guess, I don't know if they're waste bunkers, but just large bunkers are really in play here. Boom. Little pitch shot here. Two perfects in a row. Who is this guy? Boom. This game's so easy when you can hit those. Nice little opening hole. And a nice little opening birdie for us at Minahagen Park. Okay, great clean look. I love kind of the little bit of uh, the autumn trees there. Just gives a little bit of a splash of color. This cross bunker might be a bit of an issue here. I'm going to try to play the left of it. Uh, uh, sit hard. Got it. 259, up 20. That's not going to make it with the wind. We're going to try to hit it to here. At least I'm glad he gives me the, uh, the opportunity to run it up onto the green. So that's good. Hit perfect, but... Try to hit this. Great little recovery shot. And look at this. We're back to back birdies to get things started. Well, cool look again. This is kind of similar to the course we played last time. We played Pablo's last time. And it's just kind of an, a mixing of the themes, which is great. I mean, that's what the new 2K designers for it. It gives us access to any and all the trees, and now we're seeing these really cool, unique looks that we've never seen before. Um, I love this little part three. The rock work in front of the green is very nice, really natural looking. <clears throat> I love how it's just, it looks like this hole's just like tucked in. This little, I don't know what you even call this, this little section of land here. I'm gonna say there's water, so naturally I'm gonna hit a slow, but thankfully I didn't hit a red slow. I can live with that. Just off the green, but we can putt this. For a chance. We get to three under par, but we hit it too short. Ah. Great little par three there from Bred. Representing the red team very well. Oh, and the short par four, and or short par three, then a short par four. Again, really cool um, texturing here. It almost looks like the, like almost these little dimples in the, or not dimples, but it's like little discolorations in the fairway. I don't know what texture that is, but it's a cool look. Almost a realistic kind of, you'd expect to kind of see that on a more of a realistic course. Always bold when you go with, like, the brown heavy rough, too. It's always a, uh, a bold uh, choice. One thing I'm not a huge fan of, texture-wise, is just how it's really bright here, and then he decided to not color it in the rest of the way, so I don't love that, but that would be my only minor visual gripe on this course. And I'm in a tree. But we get out of the tree nicely. Somewhat. Somewhat nicely. I hit that way too hard. Sit. 
Sit, 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 sit. Okay. Well, we didn't play that one overly great, but we do make our par. We are all over the place there. Okay, great. Look, look at that waterfall, ladies and gentlemen. Always appreciate a good waterfall. That is very nicely done. Love it. It's nicely too. It's not just like jam there because I wanted a they wanted a waterfall. It looks really good, really natural. Yeah, a stunner. Really makes that tee shot pop. Yeah, not not. I wouldn't say that that's a forced waterfall at all. All right, 158. I think hitting the ball a little bit better. Okay. Chip on. Little chip here. Coming in a little hot, but stopped okay. Taps in the par. We are whizzing through Minahagen Park. Another nice-looking tee shot. I love the swamp off the tee there. That's really nice. That little that twisted log right in front of the bridge is cool, too. I like this green site up here. How, again, he's done a nice job of kind of kind of fitting the green site into the natural way of the land like that so it's a short par four the green is really tiny and the access point to get on it is very small so definitely not a gimme to get here in two so i've just been loving the variety and the way different ways people have been able to make short par fives difficult in this game uh, i really respect that it's something I want to try on my next course. <clears throat> it was hard to do in the older games. Make short par fours really tough. But I feel like they're done really well. I still made birdie, but I'm a big fan. Okay. Seventh hole. Like the bunkers. I like how they're sitting there on the left. Big bunker on the right to catch anything. Everything's kind of funneling downwards. We're going to try our best to hit the green, but I don't quite have the club here. We're going to have to get it to roll on. I'm going to say I'm going to try to play it fast, but of course the slow pops out. Oh boy, I can't see anything. Oh, we're going to have to play a little blind shot here. Not bad for considering I couldn't see. Not bad for considering I couldn't see anything. We'll take that. For the par. Okay. 91. Straight on par 4 here. Finding the fairway nicely, I think. Fairway is sloping left to right, but it's just fine little wedge in brings us back to this little roundabout with the planks is a very cool idea almost reminds me of like a little wetland area uh, okay off the green pretty straight putt though I think we have it we do have it good four birdies through eight we just need to get warmed up love it all right heading to nine another short par four Ooh, do i go for it i like what he's done here with the fairway he's definitely have it cambering from right to left or left to right so anything could funnel down this way do i take the risk of course we get a fast <laughs> into the bunker. We can still recover okay. Get the gap wedge. 
Oh, it's coming out hot. Sit. Burnt par four has been killing me lately. Killing. Thank goodness for the putter, though. Wow. That's one of my better front nines I've had. Five under through nine. Okay. Really like how the it's so clean here, how the water's brought in. Very nice. And we're just clearly afraid of it. This giant fairway, and we just find the edge of it. Giving us not a great angle into the pin here. Not what we wanted. But I like that. You flirt with the water, but you get rewarded with the good angle in. That's how that's how the hole should play. Get on there. Good kick to get on the green. We'll take it. We continue this hot putter here. Big break here. No, not, <clears throat> not a big enough break. Oh my goodness. That was close. That was close. Okay. 11, another long par 5. Well, not too long. Another really, really nice look here. And I don't know how the judges are going to do this. Too many amazing courses in this game. There hasn't been one that's been like, eh, that one's okay. All been absolutely beautiful and fun to play. Yeah, so amazed by the quality now. I remember where maybe once a week you would get a nice course. Now it's you're literally getting a couple a day. Oh, that terrible swing plane makes up for the fast. That's right at it, just a little bit long. Come down the hill. Dirty putt to get to six under par. Who is this guy? Uh, no. Just misses. It's quite all right. Short little R3. Ooh, this is dangerous. I love how it's on the plateau here. So distance control is huge here. Definitely don't want to be long. They don't want to be short either. You just got to be right on. I mean, yeah. Of course we expected that. Deep bunker. I was a little afraid that I was going to get caught on the lip, which would not have been great, but no problem. Break hard now. Our first bogey of the day on, I think, the shortest hole on the course. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. We follow up with another par 5. Watch that cross bunker there. We're going to play to the right here. Interesting drive, but it's fine. That's with 244 in... Again, another well-placed bunker kind of prevents us from rolling it up there, but we're going to play to the right of it, or the left of it, but that sneaky red fast gets in there. I don't want it. Keep, I was playing my, uh, I'm playing my tour rounds and recording them on YouTube, and like, oh, you just gotta play the fast. You just gotta play the fast. I refuse to do that. I know, I know, I, I know if I do it, I'll play better. But, oh, look at that. I refuse to play an exploit. It's, it's clearly an exploit. I don't like it. I don't like purposely missing my shots to benefit. It just doesn't sit right with me. And if I drop down to CCF because of it, fine don't like that so many people have chosen to do that now just to get an edge. It's really stupid. I think HB needs to fix it. They need to make the red fast more punishing. 
I'd pl I'd be worse. Like I would be way worse because I get a lot of red fast. But forces people to play perfect because if you miss the perfect, you get that nasty slow. So I get a lot of red fast and red red slows. Don't get much in between. You know that's what I'm relying on. <laughs> That's what I'm relying on, ladies and gentlemen. What a shot there. What a golf shot. From the junk off the green on 14. No problem, because we're so used to those. We're so used to missing those shots. I've gotten pretty good at that. Another short par 5. There's a lot of par 5s on the back. Love the sight line here. It's a good drive. That is perfect tempo. I could do that more. 21 in. Love to see if I could hit the green in two, but... Well, that's going to be too much. So I would play a fast here on purpose. Because I don't have another club for it. I think that's, a, that's totally fine. But playing it every freaking time... I don't like it. All right, enough of my rant. I'm sure people will be like, argue me on this, but I don't care. Boom. Maybe one of the best. Other than that round, I think I played at Cape Ari, where I was like 13 under. I think this has been my best playthrough round out of nowhere. I'm done. Oh my god. As I say that, I get brought back to Earth. Just snap hooking fast. And doing it again, but I think this might work. Roll up there. That almost would have worked really nicely. Right. Get her close. Eh, that could have been a bit better. So, I mean, we've seen a good chunk of these courses now. People watching, let me know in the comments. Are you Team Red or Team Blue? What are you, what are you feeling? 299. I mean, obviously, I'm going to say Team Red because I'm a red guy. Look at this. All in one on a par four would be amazing. It's going to be long. That's it. Look at Eagle, though. Chip shot. Get in there. Oh, oh, oh. So very, very, very close. Darn. Right. Still having a great round. Eight under par. Heading to the par 318th. I don't know if we've seen a par 318th in this contest yet. I could be wrong. See if we can finish. Well, here, let's play this ridge. This is exactly what I wanted. Come down. Oh, a little more speed, and that would have been perfect. We'll take it. Right. A 13 footer for birdie on 18. I didn't hit it hard enough. Ah. Oh, we rolled it in. Or a 64, one of my better rounds, less than bread. This was an outstanding golf course. Again, another one where it just tons of different options um, visually. Uh, I thought the golf, like the actual golf, was great. Uh, some really good strategies, some real holes that make you think. Some nice bunker placement, great green sights. I thought um, overall, just a fantastic course. Another solid entry for Team Red. And uh, next episode, we'll see what uh, Team Blue has as we shift back over. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you later.